Hi everyone, thanks for watching the video. In this video, we will see how to change the port of Tomcat server in your local or in your server, in the Tomcat server. So first, I have started the server, Tomcat server, and which is running on the 8080. Uh, if you want to change the uh, Tomcat server the port, uh, we need to we need to decide which port uh, we are going to change and to which port we are going to change. Okay. So once we have a, a desired port number, we can go to the uh, con uh, uh, root folder in the, under the root folder you will be having a config folder if you open a config folder you will be seeing the server.xml you will be seeing the server.xml file so which is the um, main config file for the Tomcat server so if you edit this file if you edit this file or open this file so uh, you uh, when you open this so you will be having the multiple ports here so please don't confuse so you will be having an option called connector port so this is the actual port where you are trying to uh, connect so now uh, i'm changing the port to 8089 8089 or 9090 so i will change the port to 9090 and i'm saving it uh, i'm stopping the server now i'm stopping the server now i will refresh the page it will it should not work and uh, i will change the port to 9090 now we'll see this is it should also not work because i have not started the server so to change to take the effect it, uh, effect uh, we need to definitely restart our servers or restart our server to change the port the port uh, to i mean if you change i have changed the port from 8080 to 9090 so if i not restarted the server and i'm trying to reach on 9090 it will not work because i am not the changes what i made was not pre-initialized by server so i'm starting a server again uh starting the server it was loading yes i'm, I'm deploying the projects what we have in the web apps default folder yeah server has started in 5116 milliseconds now if you refresh the page now yeah now we are able to access the power 9090 so let's take an example if you're uh, let's take another example if you are uh, using the port so some of the port and uh, if you're still unable to access even after your multiple restart uh, so just i'm taking an example of that so 8081 i'm already start i'm running another service on 8081 and now i'll try to start it uh, start the uh, tomcat server one second so let's i'm clearing this CLS starting the tomcat uh, now if you see that uh, command prompt you, you should be seeing error yes uh, let yeah it, it will show you as i started but uh, but we got the uh, exception here uh, which is called initialization failed with the reason of java net bind exception already uh, address already in use so I am already the port is already binded to another service, so which I am using. So if you're trying to open the same service, if you're trying to connect it to the same port or open the same port, which is already used by another service or other software, it will not allow you to do that. Even if you you see the message as the server started, and uh, even if you refresh that uh, 8081, right? So uh, 8081, 8081, it, it, it will it will not load the page. So you, you will be in the you will be in a confusion so why it will not work. So make sure after you're starting a server there is no uh, exceptions in your log. So if you go and go on from the 